This week's conference, after all, is about bringing an end to sexual violence in conflict. About midnight on the fourth night, two people came into my room. They didn't ask me any questions. I was still blindfolded. Both of them stayed in the room and both of them raped me on the floor. I tried to fight them off, but they overpowered me and burnt me with cigarettes on my right arm and on my stomach. They were talking to each other in Sinhalese. They also had a hot wire of some sort and they burnt me on my genital area. I was crying and screaming and they were laughing at me while they raped me. I could smell alcohol on their breath. I just lay there all night. I was still blindfolded and my hands were tied behind my back. At about lunchtime, about five other people came into the room and said they wanted to speak to me. I was still blindfolded and tied up. I continued to deny I was LTTE. They heated some sort of metal or wire. I could smell fumes of some sort of fuel in the room. I was dressed, but I had nothing covering my private parts. They started to burn me. First, on the inside of my left thigh, then my left buttock, and then the inside of my left forearm. I didn't lose consciousness when I was being burned and that was when they started raping me again. Four men raped me. All of them spoke Sinhalese. When they were all finished raping me, they left the room. I was on the floor and couldn't get up. I was in a lot of pain and despair and no one came back to my room that day or night. I was still tied up and couldn't even go to the toilet. <laughs>